Hello friends, welcome back to our Project Contrast YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do a part two video of the IACDC Innovation Challenge. So what is IACDC? I already done the video on that. It's an India Innovation Challenge Design Contest organized by the DST and Texas Instruments. The registration stage has been going on for the last two months and it has been extended until the September 30. And now they have given the details for the stage two preparation. And everyone who have registered for the IACDC challenge would have received a, a mail from the organizers about the next level uh, work, that is the quarter finals work. So, what are the main insights of this uh, quarter finals and how we have to prepare the proposal and other documents we are going to see in this video. Friends, in this registration stage, you would have submitted the title of the project and the team members details and the short description of your idea. And in the stage two, we have to prepare the elaborated proposal of the idea, and you have to undergo a online uh, test-based uh, preparation to the DISTI portal. That is the www.drishti.com. To the DISTI portal, you have to uh, take the online contest from the uh, TI. All the team members should take the online contest. This online uh, test will have. Uh, two categories directly one from the web bench and another from the uh, subjects allocated so web bench is kind of a software where you can work, work on your uh, projects and demonstration in it and there is a, a positive mark and as well as a negative mark and this negative mark is distributed as if you make any negative answer it will be reduced for some amount and if you doesn't attempt the answer also it will be reduced and minimum the candidate has to uh, write uh, up to 80 percentage of the questions asked in a particular test and some of the all the marks of the team members will be considered for the evaluation this is about the dsti uh, preparation and uh, the submission of the idea in the dsti so next when it comes to the proposal preparation there are few important parameters you have to consider for the preparation of the proposal the faculty mentor who is guiding your uh, team should give few of the letters from the college letter letter uh, pad that is the faculty authorization certificate and faculty assessment of your proposal idea has to be given by them. All the uh, format for the uh, letters has been uh, sent by DSTI through the email. You can download there and you can uh, edit your uh, team details and you can submit there. So when it comes to the proposal preparation, the important points they have mentioned is that uh, uh, IACD's organizer is that uh, you have to prepare a proposal comprising of uh, mainly important parameters like business details and technical details. So in the business details, you have to tell about the project abstract and the market analysis of your idea. When it comes to the technical uh, preparation, you have to uh, tell about a product in a brief, brief manner. You have to tell about the proposed design, innovativeness of your project, impact of your proposed idea, DI components you are used to develop your project and the non-DI components you are going to use to develop your project. And another important uh, thing regarding the uh, submission of the proposal and the registration is that all the individual role of the members should be specified by the team leader. What are the roles they are going to play in the development of the project has to be uh, told by them. For example, team, um, team member one who he is very expert in technical analysis because he, he has learned this, this one and he has uh, achieved something like that. And team member two he has a very good market analysis uh, person. He can uh, do this one and that one. Like I think you can uh, specify all the tools of the student. So friends, you should be aware that your uh, entire project report, that is a proposal report, should be unplagiarized. Because IACD has clearly stated that if you have found that your idea is plagiarized, it will be directly eliminated. So check into that and you have prepared the proposal of your own, don't copy completely from the internet. You can uh, have some of the points that can be taken from the internet, I think so. Because you cannot completely uh, do all the case studies on your own words. So you have to take some of the ideas from the internet and prepare on your own words. And next when it comes to the uh, project abstract, be specific about your abstract, what you are going to do and what you are going to develop, you can specify in the project abstract. So when it comes to the market analysis, you have to tell the uh, complete details about the market available for your product, in, especially in India, about the total market availability from the various parameters uh, of market analysis. At the same time, we have to specify what are the similar available products available in the market and how you are going to overcome the existing competitors and how you are going to market and what are the distributors available to market your 
a product you have to tell in the proposal. When it comes to the technical details, the first one is the product uh, briefing and you have to entirely brief your uh, idea and you have to tell the novelty of your idea. That is, the, what is the uniqueness you have done in your uh, product you have to tell in this uh, area. And what is the objective you have framed for developing your proposed system you have to specify in the product briefing area. And next is the uh, product design. Here you have to tell about the product design using block diagrams, uh, circuit diagrams or any other diagram is needed required by you for explaining your entire product design. And uh, here the TA wants uh, you to use the web bench and how you have going to develop your uh, uh, design. You can uh, draw using the web bench and you can learn how to draw using the web bench can be uh, learned through the uh, DSTI uh, portal. So, any one of the team members concentrate on the web page and uh, completely learn about that so that you will give given more points while evaluating your proposal. So, next is the innovativeness of the proposal system. Here also you are going to specify about the various uh, competitors available in the market and your, how your product is more innovative than the other available components in the market. Here you can uh, tell by comparing the cost of the devices available in the market and uh, size and other uh, feasibility of the devices available in the market compared to your, your project can be quoted here for uh, telling the high innovation you have done in your project can be explained here. When it comes to the impact of the proposed idea, you can tell how this product will be uh, in, in industrial standard and how it will be very useful for the customer and how impact it will uh, give the customer when it comes to the usage of the product. And next important one is the TA components use. You have to specify what are the TI components you are going to use to develop your project idea. Minimum we have to use one or two TI components so that only your proposal will be given more weightage. And you have to be very specific that if you quote less than $200, you can, the TI will completely provide the TI components required by you when you have been qualified for the semi-finals. If you quote above $200, TI can't provide the entire TI components you have been asking if you have been sorted for semi-finals. So check into uh, that. So next important thing is about the non-TI components. You also have to give the components of the non-TI uh, components uh, which you are going to use for the uh, proposed idea. So friends, when you are preparing for the round 2, you have to be very uh, careful that you have, you have to prepare the proposal. At the same time, you have to work out for the online test connect by the distia.com. The entire team should be careful that you are, going, you are getting a very good marks in the online contest because you have to clear the online contest at the same time you have to submit the proposal. Don't submit the proposal very early because many webinars and many tests regarding the uh, TA rounds will be given by TA itself. After seeing and watching all the webinars and all the details regarding that, you can apply for the uh, proposal and uh, especially learn about the web bench and how you are going to use it. Even though if you are not cleared for this uh, contest, it can be used for the uh, other contest also. So in the description column, I have given the links that have been given by the TI for the faculty authentication letter, faculty assessment letter, proposal format and other important links given by the TI. You can use that links also or else you can check your mail ID that TI itself have sent the mail regarding all the details I have said in this video. Uh, hope you will be understand about the competitors of the IACDC round 2. Uh, subscribe, share and comment. Thank you for watching the video.